back to my channel it's jelly love here so today's video is gonna be on how i got these um curls with a wine curl so if you want to see how i got my hair like this make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video and also make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when i post so my hair is like semi straight, not really. I straightened it with this um, hot comb. And this is the wand that I'll be using. It's not a straight one, it's a, a bubble wand. I don't know. Um, so now I'm just uh, doing little small sections of my hair. I'm gonna take some Garnier Fruit Tea Serum and just put that on my hair and just work that in there. And then I'm gonna just start detangling my hair. So once I start wine curling, it'll be as smooth and as sleek as possible. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna straighten out them roots, you know, um, with my hot comb. If you don't have a hot comb, get a hot comb, especially when you strain your hair and you know you gotta get you gotta really get close to them roots. This will do it. It look like you got a fresh. Uh, fresh perm sis so get you a um a hot comb so so when you want curl you need to do small sections because the smaller the section the more volume you'll have in your hair and the bigger the sections like you know you'll you can just still separate them. It won't be as voluminous if you were to do small, um, smaller sections. So, um, this part is kind of hard to explain, but I'm basically like um, going under the wand curl instead of over. So it's like, yeah, like backwards, like going opposite way of my face if you know what I'm saying and then I like let it sit on the wine curl for like a couple minutes and I unravel it and then I scrunch it up and um I don't know why people scrunch it up I just think people do that I think it just keeps the curl intact I don't know so I'm just gonna keep doing that all over my head until my whole head is done you see me just doing it again going the opposite way of my face and curling it if you have like a straight one curl it's a lot easier than it is with the bubble one i don't even know if it's called a bubble one curl but that's what we're gonna call it because that's what it looks like or a beaded one curl I don't know. um i've had this for a long time but i'm pretty sure you can find one somewhere but i would recommend getting the um the straight one
Okay, so you just see me separating my uh, hair, lightly separating my hair, and um, just to give it some more volume, um, I like my hair to be kind of big, you know, I'm just like um, fluffing my hair out so that it can be bigger or whatever. Um, now I'm about to just go in, like I said, girl, get your hot comb, get your hot comb. So, um, your roots can be straight as possible, girl. You do edges. I don't even think I did my edges, because the hot comb got my edges so good. But, yeah. I'm just doing my edges with the hot comb. And then after this, girl, I'm gonna be finished. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm still kind of playing around in my hair, but it's so cute. Let me know what y'all think. And um, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.